Everyone with any knowledge of the woods is called in. If things get worse, every able-bodied man will be pressed into service, even tourists on occasion. With a breeze behind it, the fire quickly spreads. Crowning is the biggest danger when blazing pine branches are carried by the wind and dropped to start other fires beyond the line of flames. When that happens, it's easy enough to be cut off and surrounded. If water were handy, they'd bring in gasoline pumps and try and dampen down the surrounding bush. But here, there is no water, and other means must be used to control this swift fury. Fire guards must be cut, wide paths free of timber, free of everything burnable, scraped down to the bare earth. exhausting work out there in the bush, and the men need food. Twelve, fifteen hours now, and no one knows how much longer it will go on. With all the men away, it's good to keep busy and feel that the work done is helping them get along with their job. A bulldozer is needed, and needed badly. One has been asked for, but who knows when it will arrive. Twice now the fire has jumped the guard and twice they've tried to cordon it off. And fire to fight fire, controlled blazes to burn the fuel that feeds the advancing flames. Trees that might crash down across the guard and send the blaze leaping ahead must be felled. Everywhere choking smoke making the eyes stream and underfoot the ground burning hot even through sturdy boots. The fire has jumped again. A bit more wind now and it would be away. And the men are tiring. They're into their second day and still no bulldozer. Pushing all before it, thrusting its blade into the dusty soil, the bulldozer finally arrives. Everyone breathes a little easier. There's a certain comfort in having mechanical power on the job, knowing that hard steel is backing weary muscles. It's still a matter of unremitting work and getting a few breaks. But as long as the wind doesn't freshen and send the blaze roaring on through the miles of wooded mountainside, they know they have it beat. More backfires, robbing the main blaze of its fuel, and the heat, a searing, withering blast like a giant blowtorch. And even when the weary men go home, these ashes will smolder and smoke. Not forgotten, though, not unwatched. That's just another job for the ranger and his assistants, to patrol this ruined waste until the fall rains put an end to the danger. <laughs> 